Welcome back to another trekking vlog. Right, my name's Ellie. I am a virtual HGV Class 2 driver working for Freight Runners VTC Limited. Normally, I am a Class 1 tramper, but today we are in Aridia. Uh We are on our way to Exeter today. Um, I'll explain why in a minute we're in a rigid. Um, now, you would have noticed that uh, I was recording this week, which by the time this video is out, uh, would have been last week, there were no videos. Uh, or full length vlogs, in a way. Um, a, I needed a, bit, a little bit of a break from recording and editing, so that was the first task. Uh, second thing was, I even if I wanted to, which I did, I couldn't record. Because I had a high security load from uh, where we left, where I overnighted in the industrial estate to our first drop, to our drop, I had a high security load going back to France and then I had a high value load going back to Swansea in which it had to be two man 
so obviously I couldn't record. Oop, wrong gear. There we go. Uh, anyway, don't have a sat nav. Don't have a sat nav with me because A, it's in my truck and two, it's not working for whatever reason. So, yeah. Um, I know where all these drops are because I've done them many times. No, anyway, first one's just, uh, they're all in or around Exeter. So the, la the last one, which is, is meant to be the first one, is just up the A30. Obviously, that's going to be the last drop now because I've got a reload in that industrial estate, so it's pointless me doing it that way. But drop one is in a retail mart in a shopping centre. And it specifically says I need instructions to deliver to front of the building because they've got no rear warehouse. Um, yes, this is a left hand drive track. Uh, it was based out of our, uh, out of one of our depots in Iran, uh, in Iran, in uh, the Middle East, I believe in Syria. Obviously, um, it's a fan drive server here temporarily because the trip I was meant to be in is break, has broke down and this one was available. Although, normally, this one is only used for storage. All fun and games. Uh, now, there is word of warning that there is a lot of rain coming uh, later on in the shift, so I want to try and get down to Exeter ASAP and at least at the first two drop stops because they're both uh, drops I'm going to have to tip myself. The other two are bay jobs, thankfully. Anyway, I'm going to jump off here, I'll see you guys when we are closer to it, so I won't do a time lapse, but I will do one when we are um, on our way back, so I'll speak to you all in a bit. Okay, right, I do believe we're about four minutes away from our first drop but do quote me on that because I've got no idea right that's in the right range right there we go I'm going to have to turn this off in a way. Now, this first drop, I don't actually have an address. All I've got is Exeter Town Centre. So, I've got the name of the supermarket, but I have a feeling it's in the retail part where home base is. So I'm going to try there first, because we do actually have a drop there, luckily. Oop. Anyway, so if I need to, I'll do that one off brand ahead, just make sure that's all good. Now, I know where the load is, I've just dropped me 1k down to get to them, uh, that was that 1k, it's one pallet. Tell you what, driving this thing has been interesting. It, there was a couple of fields, and we're not actually overly heavy, but I've had to put the tag axle down because it was just struggling too much. So once I've got these four, no, three 
Oh, that's so I'll fucking probably get one of the cousin tag acts to that. Um, the second drop I'm definitely going to have to try and look at. Ah, oh, shoot, right, okay. Uh, I need to check. It was raining a little bit as so I was coming over, but it seemed to have stopped. You know what, this reminds me of the uh, Sissue track from uh, Mike and Makara a little bit. Today. Tell you what, I've never driven an articulated F10 before, and this is only my second dri time driving an F10 rigid. I've driven an FL10, but um, the gearbox and that are even worse, to be fair. I need to tighten the screw up on uh, my gear stick as well. I'm hoping I don't need to use the bump trap and that they all the uh, tail lift really that much and I can just pop it on the tail lift and they can take it off with a forklift. But I have a feeling they won't do that. Sometimes they will um, if home base isn't that busy we'll, we'll dip in the, in the home base stuff I. So I normally have to swim around in there to get into the car park unless I reverse in off the main road. There's a backup alarm on it. Right, let's have a look. I'm going to have to take a wonder, I reckon. I think we're here. And I'm going to take a wonder and try and find our customer. And find out where they want us, whether we're keeping in home base. Or what we're doing, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to speak to my customer and I'll speak to you all once we are checked. See you all in a bit. Okay! Right, let's check the window. Right, we're in the wrong place. This is kind of what I thought. Uh, I've got, I've been told that we can't swim around in the yard because they are really, the uh, gates are locked. So, but I have been told I can reverse into that bit of the car park. They actually said to come in forwards and reverse out, reverse it into that corner. To be fair, I probably won't even need all the space that they've offered me. 
Um, anyway, I drink customer, we're not in the right place. Dargoth and um, there's an Argos of Quarks, uh, which is a shoe shop which uh, specialises in, um, in uh, school shoes and other shoes as well. And uh, obviously own base. I've got to come back here tomorrow on a, uh, tomorrow and on Friday anyway. So yeah, gonna be doing a lot of exercise this week. I may have to fix this while we're um at our delivery as well. Wrong gate. It's back up here towards Jusons. Joy's not having a sat nav. Now, I have been told I could be either in the core series or the 143, dependent on how much job I've got to pick up and whether I've got to do this other job, which needs a low loader plus beacons. So if I do, then I will be in the four series or my truck, or well, I'll be in the Piper, the uh, Cyclops Scania uh, that you've seen in some of the YouTube shorts. Be not the right building, I don't think. I might have to shoot to the yard and grab a phone stand and check Google Maps all that because I'm not actually sure where where I am. I know in this street there's no low bridges either, but I won't. But we're low enough to get under it. And I can drop the suspension more if I need to. To, so I can get quite low, and I can if I if I really have to, I'll uh, raise the tag axle. I can manually override it. Where is this drop? Probably there, can it? I think it might be. This is, this is definitely not right. Do, 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 do. I might have to look it up. 
I wonder if there's not any other industrial estate that's up the A30, so it means going back that way and onto the A30 again. Yeah, there's a lot This is rear steer, we wouldn't have so many steering problems. It's um, a 6x4 tag axle config, which, yes, is more ideal. Okay, right, um, we are very lost. Oh, that one, I wonder. No. Yeah, go on. Do, 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 do. Um, right. Tried in the first shot, the first three driveways. Yes, they are expecting delivery, but, um, they're waiting for someone to unlock the gate so I can deliver because apparently their loading bay's around the back. I think that's it there. No, that's not it. Okay, right. I can't for the life of me find this delivery anywhere. So, my thinking is not logical, but in my head, it's probably the best method for me. So, what we're going to do, we're going to head back to uh, where we started, which is at drop two, get that one out of the way because I've got a fun chart and I've got a tail on it, so I can do that. For hopefully, the gates are unlocked by the time we get there. Get that customer down and off my mind, and I'm going to have to ring for really Pacific instructions because I'm hoping I don't need to give up any M5 until drop and uh, till drop four but I have a feeling this one might be on the A30 and I need to reset my character uh, which one is going from? I think it was this way. No, is it? That's not it. it. Might be. Might be. Yeah, it is. So we're never passing these. I can then ring my customer, ask them 
very kindly where it is and get directions to where I need to go because if not I'm going to run out of drive time and I'm going to have a break before heading back to uh, Wales in that building from there which wouldn't be a job for a PR because then that makes my life easier right hopefully right Right, okay, so, plan has changed very slightly. Home base is going to take off the Argos delivery for us now while we're here, which is an added bonus for me. Um, I've spoken to the other couple of customers. Um, I do have to have a break before we can do the uh, couple of customers at the A30. Um, now I've gone for a bit of a wonder, can't actually find this other customer that I'm looking for, other than potentially it's right in the centre of Exeter, um, in the industrial estate. So, I may have to try there, which is going back out to the roundabout and down that way. If it's not down that way, then I'm a little bit stuck and I'll have to take it back to the yard with me and get someone else to re deliver it tomorrow. But I've sent a colleague a message who's done this route before to ask me where this job actually is. And then hopefully we can make our way over there. Um, anyway, I'm going to get the cameras off here. I'm just waiting for a home base truck to do their curtains up. And then we will be in as once well they're out of here. Anyway, um, unfortunately I've got, obviously you guys know, I can film in here but I'm not going to today because they are really busy. So I'm just going to crack on. Do what I need to do and get on out. Speak to you all in a bit. Puppies! Right. Found it. Right, I am a bit of an idiot. <laughs> I'll word it that way. It's on the A30, which is what I kind of thought. Um, yeah, this drop. One is on the A13, so it's drop four. So we're starting to last, but I've just in drop three. Just now we're in try and find drop two. Uh, towards the window, uh, potentially. Oh, these are all parked. I don't quite realise these are all parked here. Go on. Oh, I'm in the wrong gear. Claim it down.
Alright, got the one last. Found it. Um, it was... So, this is the first drop, or what should have been drop number one. Um, which is, um, next to us, which is Blood Door, something like that. Um, anyway, tip. Uh, I've just got one more to do now, I'm going to rest tag at so because it's only days where I just press the ride. Uh, so, yeah, we go out of there. I just have a bad feeling I'm going to reverse this, to be truthful. But I uh, have Yeah, might be able to get out of here. Uh, trying to get in here with funny games, but hey, hey. At least it's done. Um, found out what we're picking up tomorrow. Uh, I've only got one collection, no deliveries. Um, got a collection out of Swansea. This for exercise, so three, no, two dropper. Yeah, two dropper. Swansea and Exeter. That is the plan of action. I'm only going to turn around because, oh, uh, yeah. There's no way, no way for us to get turned around. I have done a night out in this industrial set before, just not for a very long time. The last time I did a night out, Industrial estate down here was when I was in the DAFs. See, I think I was in the CF to be fair. But honestly, it was so long ago, I can't actually remember. Now I've got a collection from here in the way of empty uh, barrel things. I've only got a couple going on. I've already run from the customer ahead of time, so I know where I need to be and that's the thing. Right, okay, so I need to swim around, drop the sound to the left, so they can get into my tray, into the uh, back, or I'm going to make the power lift level with the bay door ramp. And then we're just going to pump chuck it all off. There's only, three, there's only two pallets coming off. But I'll make sure I can tell left here so I can do that. Anyway, I'm going to set the tail left, go in the bay, um, get unloaded, get these couple of barrels popped on, and I'll treat you all in a Bit. Okay, right, plans have changed. We are loaded. I've got one IVC on, one barrel on, uh, which um, is what the company is for. Anyway, we've got a reverse on out of here. So, I'm going to sit you guys up behind me. And let's back on out of there.
Is out of there. Right, I'm going to put you on for a time lapse um, as we head back to the yard. So, but I will just give you guys a quick update into the plan of action from here. So, from here, from 8 to 30, it's back to the garden. Um, end of day check, it's all about good jazz. Uh, and then we've got to go. To the Arctic F10. Oops, broke my heart off. Uh, we've then got to jump into the Arctic F10 and we've then got to go to Swansea uh, to collect a load for Swansea and Exeter. And I'm going to try and get Exeter off, uh, Swansea off tomorrow evening. I know where that is going to, and I'm also going to try to solve this issue out with the AI with a lot of the trucks I can keep in glitchy, as I think I know what's caused on it. Uh, and then obviously Friday, uh, we already know what the plan is. Um, is I'm going to be in the scan yard. Anyway, I'll speak to you all when I'm back at the yard. See you all in a bit. Okay, ladies and gents, right, we are back at the yard. Um, in a way, uh, we are, we've had the IBC in the barrel taken off. Um, we are just waiting for the F10 to return to the yard, the Arctic. And then I won't jump into that. Uh, head over to Swansea, go and get reloaded. However, you're not seeing that today. I may save that for the next stricken vlog. Um, but as for this one, uh, running down to Exeter and back, I hope you did enjoy it. Um, drum with Cotton Thursday is a direct run. Uh, so. A single dropper and then uh, not really sure what we've got afterwards I suspect it's probably gonna be a reload of pallets to uh, bring back up to Siva uh, that's what we normally do from Exeter so it could be bringing a back up a load of pallets should be doing something else all together um, I honestly don't know but anyway as for this video guys Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you've got any comments, queries or concerns, let me know by commenting in the comment section below. And uh, while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.